These African diplomats are united in their message on what AGOA, the African Growth and Opportunity Act, means for their economies. I believe this is the time with the authorization of AGOA, you know, the sky is the limit. Following some delays, especially over the question of poultry imports and exports, the trade legislation is seen as a win-win for both the United States and African nations. And according to my analysis and my thinking, I think that's a partnership issue where there is no loser in the whole trade and investment issues that are provided by AGOA. I think that's essential. That's very important because there is no loser in the game. We're all winning at the same time. It's a sentiment shared by U.S. President Barack Obama, who just returned home from a trip to Kenya and Ethiopia. But what we also believe is that we are your best partners and your best friends when we are building capacity. So instead of just giving a fish, we teach you how to fish. For companies such as Ford Motors, it's teaching Africans how to build cars, such as the globally popular and versatile transit van, from hauling cargo to hauling people. Already 600 American companies are working or investing in South Africa. In other words, they see the potential of making the business in South Africa and making the economy to grow in South Africa and to help actually address the challenges that we're having in terms of power, as you are saying, and in terms of infrastructure. That partnership with the companies from the U.S. is a great advantage for South Africa and the continent to grow. And these ambassadors say there's already a post to go a vision for 10 years down the road when this agreement expires. They hope their economies grow to the point that the next deal will be a free trade pact for Africa, just as the United States has been working on with Europe and with Asia. Priscilla Huff, SABC News, Washington.